Good evening, humans. Transverse Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Elite Collection Ringside Exclusive Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa from Mattel. Back when I, I was starting to get back into wrestling a couple years ago, uh, I had seen Tommaso Ciampa around, and just my first impression was, dude looks like a complete badass. And you know, now that I've seen matches of his and, and all that, like I can confirm that that's true. And uh, this figure definitely backs that up, uh, and definitely uh, complements that rather. And uh, yeah, just, uh, and bonus points, I didn't realize he was actually from Mass as well. So that was just kind of cool. And you know, kind of kind of surprised it had taken until I got started to get back into wrestling to, to hear about him. Um, so yeah, uh, let's, without further delay, let's get right into this review. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, Mattel absolutely knocked it out of the park here. And they've honestly just been like upping their game incrementally over the past few years. Um, you know, just from what I've seen, and you know, I was kind of hesitant to get back into wrestling figures just because it wasn't didn't seem like my thing at first. And again, I wasn't really fully back into wrestling, but they've just really upped the game, and it's really cool to see. Um, so for this figure, uh, you know, Mattel has been listening to the the fan base and the customers. And originally, this was supposed to be on a different body type, and people were like, "That doesn't look right." and they altered it and honestly it's great because now it, it definitely matches his real life physique and uh, they added the chest hair here I mean it just it looks really really accurate which is awesome uh, that face sculpt is just fantastic I mean they they totally match the intensity in Tommaso's actual eyes and that's that that brings a lot it brings the figure to life and I love seeing that. Uh, not only that but uh, you know just everything's great we got pinless double jointed arms which is fantastic um you know and you know it's a very basic ring gear um aside from the stuff that we'll get get along to in accessories but looks great i think the only thing i probably would have preferred is here at the belt uh it's only printed on if that was sculpted that would really put this over the top but as it stands they just did a fantastic job with the whole thing um so yeah just aesthetics definitely get an a plus here for accessories, we get a really decent loadout here for Tommaso, and it's essentially his entrance gear from NXT TakeOver War Games back in 2020. And uh, while I didn't see that event, I did see pictures from it, and this just, just, again, looks badass. That word's gonna come up a lot in this review, and uh, yeah, just really happy to have this in plastic form. So, jumping right into everything, uh, first we got our hands, so right out of the box we have our open palm hands, uh, so left hand has the uh, tape on it. The uh, sorry, left hand is untaped. The left hand, uh, right hand does have the the wrap on it. Then we get two of our pretty standard C grips, same deco, so really nice. Then we get the hood piece, which is done really nice. Uh, colors seem pretty accurate. Really like the the form of silver they used here. Uh, texturing on this is just really really nice. Looks like actual leather. Uh, then we get the mask, which just looks boss as hell. Um, really just nice detailing with that little bit of a uh, kind of kind of deep gold and then the silver. Uh, my lights are like washing it out a little bit here, but uh, you can kind of see the details in there, just the detailed exceptionally nicely. So that's excellent to see. And then finally we get the kind of jacket piece. Uh, really good details. I mean, looks a lot better than the promo shots uh, because obviously the promo shots were you know just kind of a prototype but here this really nice job the inside of it's the silver so it kind of keeps everything uh, contiguous and just looks really really great so uh, accessories are fantastic oh and one last quick thing i forgot to add was just uh, with the mask itself um, just because of the sculpt of the head it's not going to look as slim as it did look in real life because obviously the, the beard isn't going to push in at all um, it still looks really cool but uh, definitely a little wider than it actually looked in real life. But once you put the hood on, it definitely ties it all together. So just something I thought that was worth pointing out. So articulation is more or less our standard uh, WWE Elite Collection rollout. But uh, regardless, let's break it down top to bottom as we do. So head, we're not coming up too much. I kind of, they could have cut a little bit uh, more up here at the back of the head to give you a little more up, but that's all good. You're not really going to be looking too much down, uh, but you will get some tilt, which is kind of nice. 
Um, then we have our hinge and swivel at the arms, which is gonna bring us into our T-pose. We have our bicep swivel. And as I pointed out earlier, we do have pinless double jointed elbows and that just makes all the difference. Really kind of, again, just adds a new element. And uh, I get our hinge and swivel on the wrists. So all, all uh, horizontal, no vertical, because uh, no weapon, hold, weapon holding hands. Uh, then we come to the ab crunch. So we're gonna come about that far forward, about that far back. We have our waist swivel back and forth there. Hips, we're coming out here, really nice range. Honestly, that's, that's pretty fantastic. Then we come to double jointed knees. Uh, the knee pad's gonna get in the way a little bit, but you can slide that up or down. Um, but you know, at base, you'll at least get 90. Then we have boot swivel. We have really nice point like insane forward and uh it's the tiniest tiniest bit of rocker and then that's articulation jumping in size comparisons here he is with some other wrestling figures with some hasbro with some imports with some monsters finally with an articulated icons oni and yours truly in human form as an articulated icons ninja so my final thoughts on the WWE Elite Collection Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa figure is that this is an insanely good figure, uh, certainly as an Elite Collection figure, as a wrestling figure overall, and just as a figure period, uh, just Mattel continues to up its game, and certainly with the wrestling figures, and this is a shining example of that. So I definitely implore you, if you are a fan of uh, WWE Elite Collection, uh, if you are a fan of Tommaso Ciampa specifically, uh, just 100% pick this up and as I had said at the beginning this is a ringside collectibles exclusive so I will have a link in the description below to where you can pick it up because I think it's still available on the site and definitely get down on this because it's just a fantastic figure and I think as many people as possible should have this so uh, yeah definitely get it um, and that being said uh, thank you so so much for watching I hope you found this review uh, informative and somewhat entertaining and if you did please consider liking commenting subscribing and sharing and all that other fun stuff um, you know I'm still a relatively young channel so every little bit helps and not only that but I will have other ways to help the channel as well that are outside of just me doing YouTube videos such as the you know, musicians so like music and merch and all this other sort of stuff so yeah please check that out uh, yeah, and that being said, you know, just ultra thanks to you one more time for watching, and I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.